Nurses here at Beaumont Hospital are preparing for a work to rule starting on the 27th of January over the severe overcrowding in the emergency department. The INMO says it's afraid a major incident will happen because of the scale of the problem. And these locals here in Beaumont say they're very concerned. It is in a bad state. I've seen it myself now, you know, and I went up to see friends. It was in a terrible state. Was it such people left on trolleys and the like? Everywhere, yes, you know, and they're there for hours and days, you know. And if this place closes down, what have we got? The matter is the nearest one. You're, you're talking lives at risk. There's already loads of people, elderly and that, on trolleys and stuff. The situation is already dire. I mean, the Minister of Health doesn't seem to have been on top of his job whatsoever. You know, that's, that's my opinion of it, you know. It's all about money saving uh, uh, not for elderly people. Over 600 people are now waiting on trolleys in hospitals across the country and pressure is growing on the government to address the issue. Independent TD Finian McGrath is calling for an emergency response. I personally would love to see, for example, the doll being recalled this week, just for one day operation to come up with a solution. The HSE says it's working to address the problem and has been allocated 25 million euro to do so. However, their biggest obstacle is the problem of so-called bed blockers, an unflattering term perhaps for mostly elderly patients awaiting admission to nursing homes and other clinics. On both sides of the problem, however, there is agreement that this is now the number one issue facing Irish hospitals. For Newstalk.com, I'm Richard Chambers.